welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel hey uh, appreciate you taking some time to uh, click on the video and take a look we're headed out to Mason Dixon dragway see if we can get some test and tune runs in uh, see where shake and bake sitting I'll tell you the car says it's about a hundred degrees and if you hadn't seen most of my videos I don't go very often with my windows up uh, so it's hot I'm sure the DA is gonna be terrible when I get there uh, we'll check it out and see what it says uh, but we're gonna go get some runs in and just see what we can do All right, folks, you saw it on the thumbnail, heard it on the intro. We're headed back to the track. Not sure if you can see my tuner, but we're uploading the race tune now. Give it a few hits before we get to the race track. Get the car used to the tune a little bit. And uh, we will see you when we get to the race track. All right, folks, we are downtown Boonesboro. And here's the famous inn, Boonesboro. This is uh, set up by Nora Roberts. She went ahead and redid this place. And uh, she did each of the rooms based on one of her books. Uh, so if you're ever in the Maryland area, in the Boonesboro area, this is a great place to stay. So she literally uh, helped rebuild the entire town uh, of Boonesboro. So we're just gonna take a quick walk down the street and then back up the street. And all of these stores, the names, you'll see them uh, in her books. So it's a really neat little, real neat, neat little town uh, that has uh, again been restored by uh, primarily Nora Roberts. All right, here's Turn the Page Bookstore. This is definitely one of the things that's in her books. Definitely want to take a look at uh, Turn the Page if you're, if you're uh, a reader of books. Because this is all done, again, by, uh, in support of and by Nora Roberts. These benches outside the, the salon. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Here's Sherry's Beauty Salon. This is a this a this bench is another one uh, that's in one of uh, Nora's books. The beauty shop. Also, here the flower shop on Main. Uh, this is another one that's in her book, or one of her books. She has many books. And coming up, we're coming up on one of the one of our favorite places to eat when we're down here. And it's Vesta's uh, family rest, Italian family restaurant. The pizza and everything is phenomenal. I've never had anything bad out of here. So here is Vesta's. So while I'm standing out front of Vesta's, wait, waiting on my pizza, and the fireworks are <laughs> are going off for the Fourth of July, uh, they're they're doing their fireworks tonight. Um, Boonesboro is real close to Mason Dixon Dragway, uh, so whenever I come out to the to the Dr Mason Dixon Drag Strip uh, and do my runs, we come up here. I, well, I come up here, grab some pizza, uh, and take it home. So that's why I did a little a little spiel on Boonesboro, uh, the little town. It's a quaint little place, nice little place to visit. So if you're ever in the area or you're coming to the Drag Strip, please come on up and hit uh, hit up Boonesboro. It's a real nice, quaint little town. A uh, great place to eat. Round one. All right, folks, we're going for our first run in Shake and Bake. We're going up, going up against a Fox Body Mustang. He said it was stock. I don't, I don't believe him. It sounds pretty mean. Uh, so let's see what happens.
Mustang. I guess he was telling the truth. It must be stock. Because uh, he's way back there. So, I don't know. Felt like a pretty good run. Uh, let's get up here, grab the ticket, and uh, see what we got. To be honest, I'm looking in that 12.2, 12.3 range. Uh, it is 94 degrees. Uh, I haven't checked... I haven't checked the DA yet. We'll do that when we go back to the chair and sit down for a chill. And uh, we'll go from there. I tell you, it is hot and humid today. I wouldn't be surprised if the DA is uh, high 2000s, maybe three. 57. Thank you. All right, we're going to head back for a little chill. DA 3148. The DA is awful. Uh, let's get the reading glasses on because I can't see otherwise. 57. 176, 60 foot. 79 at 87.8 miles an hour in the in the uh, in the eight 1237 at 110 in the quarter that's that's pretty much what I picked good lord he started right up as I got there just right as I figured 12 3 12 4 DA DA like I said is absolutely ridiculous round two All right, we're going up against this Mustang. Not sure what's going to happen. Uh, I got the GoPro to take a, a video for Jay to get the air fuel ratio. Got the one on the outside uh, looking straight across. So hopefully this will be a close race and he won't dust me. And I won't dust him. Hopefully it'll be a good race. Good job, girl. That was a pretty good run. We're going to go ahead and flip back around. So I talked to a couple other Mustang guys. Uh, we're going to line up against a, uh, there's a GT350 and a 5.0. So we're going to line up against one of them next and uh, see what happens. All right, now we're out of the sun a little bit. The sun was right in the face. So uh, 178 to the 60 foot, 79, Seven to the eight at 87.7, 12 4 1 at uh, 110.8. So, yeah, with this DA, that's exactly what I figured. I think we're right on point for uh, where we should be. 
So we're gonna line up against one of these Mustangs. And uh, all right, looks like we're gonna go, we're gonna hit the GT, the GT350 first. Round three. All right, folks, here we go. We're gonna go up against this, uh, basically a stock GT350. He said he got an intake and a tune. So let's see what happens. Uh, he was running 12 fours earlier. And uh, let's see what happens. Folks, here we go. All right, that was a pretty good race. I got him. I got him off the line. I think that's what hurt him the most, is I got him off the line. We'll check the ticket, see what the uh, see what the times look like. I know that sun's awful. I, uh, sorry, but there's not a whole lot I can do about it. So that felt like a pretty good run. <laughs> we uh, took that GT3 350 to school, that's for sure. Uh, from a racing standpoint, yeah lost from a car to car standpoint let's go check out and see what the uh see what the et says all righty thank you all right one seven seven sixty foot seven nine to the eighth at 88 miles an hour Oh, a 1235 at 111. Not bad. 1235 at 111. Uh, he ran a uh, a 1262 at 116. Of course, he's in a stick shift car. So, uh, if you don't know, the GT350 is a, is a uh, it's a stick shift car. Um, and this is he did say this is his first time at the track. So, um, yeah, he's still learning. He's still learning. 0.08 reaction time. I'm getting pretty good at this reaction time stuff. Uh, I think as I get better, I'll uh, start looking at doing some more, uh, some more bracket racing. <laughs> get in the, get into bracket racing a little bit. Round four. All right, folks, here we go. Boss 30250 stick shift car 2012. I uh, don't think he's got any mods to it, so let's see what happens. Shake and Bake is on a Mustang kill and roll. Let's see if we can keep it going.
Could all be spun off the line. Check the ticket on this one. We got to go check the ticket and uh, see what happened with this one because that was close. That was a really, really good race. I think my reaction time, my reaction time was a little slow on that one. I was sleeping at the light. All right, we're coming up on the uh, coming up on grabbing the ticket. All right, thank you. Oh, he did get me by a thousand, a hundredth of a second. Yeah, I, I slept in the line big time this time. My rack time was one seven point one seven. That's a pretty bad reaction time for me. But I ran a 12.38 at 110, and he ran a 12.36 at 114. So yeah, he was pulling on me on the big end. That was a great race, though. That was an awesome race. I'm gonna go over here and let her cool down for a little bit. Maybe come back in for another run after bit. That was a good one. You got me right at the very end. Right at the very end. I believe it. I was like, by like a hundredth of a second. Oh man, that was a great race. Round five. Alright. Alright, folks, we're up against another Mustang 5-0. Not sure what year or any mods, but we'll see what happens. this ticket see what the ticket says that's our fifth run tonight uh, I think we'll call it a night five runs that's pretty good uh, like I said it's been consistent 12 3 12 4 in that you know in that general vicinity uh, with the DA the way it is hey you know you can't expect a whole lot much much more than that from old shake and bake 
because she hates the heat. <laughs> she does not like the heat and the humidity, that's for sure. Uh, but, you know, as it gets closer to October, November, we'll see those times get way down. Way down. Uh, expect to see a lot out of Shake and Bake uh, come, you know, October, October and November. Far better than anywhere else. thank you all right let's see we're in the left lane this time 178 60 foot 795 at 80 almost 88 miles an hour to the eighth 1239 at 110 so if nothing else shake and bake is definitely consistent <laughs> there's no doubt on that one she is definitely uh, definitely a consistent car I, I should definitely start bracket racing <laughs> for sure but uh that's gonna do it for the racing tonight we're gonna go ahead and pack up and uh, do the outro on the way home all right everyone i know it's a little bit dark but uh shake and bake did pretty good today at the track i'm proud of her she uh definitely wrecked some some mustangs today uh, we did got beat barely by one Mustang, the Boss 302. Uh, he barely got me, but that was one of my worst reaction times. So that's what, that's kind of where I lost that race. But hey, you win some, you lose some. Uh, no matter, you know the deal. No matter what happens with me, uh, it's going to be up on YouTube. So uh, you're going to see every race I do, whether I win, lose, or draw. So yeah, pretty happy with Shake and Bake today. Um, so that's going to do it for this one. So uh, if you're stopping in for the first time, please check out my uh, other content, other videos I've done in the past. And if you like what's going on with the, uh, with the channel, please give me a few things. One, subscribe. Two, hit that notification bell for notifications when I put, upload new content. Three, hit the like button on those, those uh, videos that you like. And the last thing is, you know, throw a couple comments in those videos that you like as well. I love to hear y'all comments, and I try and reply to each and every one of them. So like I said, that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate y'all taking some time out of your day to watch my videos and, you know, subscribing and the whole nine yards. Uh, the, the channel keeps on growing. We're almost at 1,200 subscribers. And uh, let's just keep the ball rolling. Uh, I'll keep doing more content. You guys keep on watching. And that's going to do it for this one, folks. Until next time, adios.